So here we've reduced uh, the fracture anatomically. You can see the fracture line here, and we've held it with two pointed reduction clamps. And so now we'll go ahead and put our lag screws, and then from there put our neutralization plate. Okay, now we've put two lag screws to compress and hold the fracture. Now we've put the fibular plate on and pinned it in place with a couple wires and a preliminary fixation device here. So now we'll simply place our screws distally and proximally, and then we'll place our syndesmosis fixation. Okay, now we've completed our fibular fixation here, and this is anatomically reduced, and now we will place our syndesmotic fixation. So with the aid of fluoroscopy, we will make sure we're parallel to the joint line and aiming approximately 15 degrees posterior to anterior. And we will advance the K-wire. This is the step drill, and we'll slide this over the wire, and we will drill both the tibia and fibula. It's important that we only place the larger diameter portion of the step drill through the fibula, and fluoroscopy is important to confirm that this is done correctly. out we'll go ahead and slide in our tibial screw and advance it and it should come to a hard stop in the in the tibia and there'll be an increased torque to indicate this but it's also useful to check on fluoroscopy to confirm So now there's an increased torque here, indicating that it has come to a stop, hard stop in the tibia, which will confirm with fluoroscopy. Here we can see the laser line is sticking out a few millimeters, so we'll use the short button. So now we will undo the threads of the cleats on the driver. We'll pull back on the driver. We will place the short fibular button over the wire. We'll take a hemostat and pull back to engage the threads of the fibular button with the fibulank. And then we'll simply advance by turning clockwise to our desired level of tension. And with the aid of fluoroscopy, we'll confirm that we have an redu anatomic reduction of our syndesmosis. And we can simply turn it counterclockwise to loosen up the tension of the construct. So now we'll take some fluoroscopic views to confirm we're happy with our reduction of our syndesmosis.
And once we're content with that, we will take a hemostat and we will pull out the gold and then the silver. And that is it.